Let's have a look at the run command component of Systems Manager. So this is very similar to automation, but it does have a few differences. So yes, it uses documents just like automation, but there are different types of documents in Systems Manager. So run command uses the command documents, whereas automation uses the automation documents. And then there are package documents and a few others as well. So very similarly though, you're running whatever commands are specified in the document, which again is written in JSON or YAML. So run command is focused on EC2. So it's not about many different AWS resources. It's more about EC2. And its use case is more for running commands on EC2 instances than automation, which is more about repetitive tasks that you might perform across AWS resources. So in this case, the command checks for missing updates. So it's going to look for patches that are missing on the operating system. And that's what we're going to have a look at how we can do in the console now. So let's head over to Systems Manager. Back in the Systems Manager console, let's head down to Run Command. And we can click on Run Command here. Now, by the way, if you look in Command History, because of what we configured in the quick setup, you'll see that there's been a few automations running already. So we've got the update SSM agents, so that's updating the version of the agent on your managed instances. And then it's also running a patch baseline. And you can go into these and actually then see the results. If you choose the instance, you'll see the output here. So in this case, we've got the output of checking for missing updates and it didn't find any. So let's go back up to run command, click on run command, and we're going to click this AWS Find Windows Updates. And we're going to look for all updates. So you see it can choose just from important or optional. We're going to use all. And now we can specify instance tags or choose our instances manually. So let's use the tag option here. And what I'm going to do is I want to check for the patches that are missing from my instances that are in the production environment. So let's choose production. Click on add. So now we're looking for the tag environment production. Now you'll notice here that you've got a few options for rate control. So this is really important for the exam, especially with patch manager, because what you'll find is sometimes there is a question that mentions the fact that whilst you're updating your resources or running a command or installing patches, the resources have slowed down. So you want to avoid that happening. Well, in that case, you could change the concurrency. In this case, up to 50 targets can be running at the same time. So you might be have an application that's distributed and you're basically installing your patches on all of them at the same time. Well, maybe you just want to reduce that to two and then you might have another several resources running that are unaffected so they don't have any performance implications. Now, we only have a few targets, so we'll just put that at four. And there's only two in our in this particular environment anyway. You can then optionally write the output to an S3 bucket. I'm just going to deselect that option. You can use an SNS notification as well. Let's click on run. And so now this is actually in progress. Now, as you know, each of our environments has two different platforms. So we've got a Windows and a Linux server. Now, this is only going to run on our Windows server. So straight away, we get an invalid platform error message. So that's worth noting. And if you actually go back to our documents, you'll see that they all specify the platform. So a lot of them will be platform types, Windows and Linux, or they could just be Linux or just Windows. So let's go back to run command and let's see what's happening. Well, there's no commands executing, so we can go to history and we have a success here for find Windows updates. Let's click on here. We've got a success message for our Windows instance, and then let's have a look at the output. So the output here is important updates. We've got one, no critical, says zero important there and zero moderate, but there's one unspecified. So there is one update which we could potentially install, and this one's for Microsoft Defender antivirus. So that's good. I know that there's a patch which is missing from my production Windows instance. So perhaps now I want to go and actually install that patch. So what we do is go to run command, head across to page two here, and we've got install missing Windows updates. Document version is one. We're going to do all. So we're just going to change update level to all. I'm just going to run by tags again. So I'm going to go and put in 
environment and production click on add and then let's i'm going to disable the output to a bucket and just click on run so that's running again we know it's not going to work for our linux instance so that's just failed immediately with an invalid platform message but then it should run on our windows instance now this could take a few minutes so just wait until it's completed and then hopefully we'll have a positive output that just took a few minutes and we've now got a success message and if we just have a look at the output here we can see we've got the patch installation results and the success message is here so that has completed successfully that's it for this lesson hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next lesson